We in there. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Indianapolis Colts taking on the NFC champions, the New York Giants. I'm Brandon Gunn. To my left is my good friend Charles Davis, and what a thrill to be here for the biggest one of them all, the Super Bowl. And it seems to get bigger every year. The lights get brighter. The cameras more numerous. I don't know. There's just so much that goes into this game. It's an honor to be here, isn't it? It is an honor, and I can't wait to share this game with you. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. You're my partner my best friend. I can't imagine being anywhere else but right here with you. And just think about it this way. You mentioned the magnitude. This is no longer just a game for America or even North America. This is worldwide. People watching from just about every country in the world. This is impressive. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and just about ready to roll. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and Damn, call you. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now. Second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and a yard. Another toe for ETN. And this one will go to the 28 yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, Are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. They'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Eluding the pressure right. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. Oh, it's nice down. Down. They rolled out of the pocket right, and I think he wanted a little something more out of that play, obviously. Instead, he just he hit a safety back. It looked like two well-coached teams there, even though there was no yardage gain, because... The offensive guys, hey, they realized their quarterback was out of the pocket. All the receivers went to the right spots, tried to get in his sight line, tried to open themselves up. Just nowhere to go where they could gain yardage. How about the defensive guys, though? Did not lose leverage and kept their poise and made a really nice play. And Lawrence going to move him around a bit. Now a whistle, and okay. I think a penalty here. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did oh, get no. the timeout in time they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter here's second and ten running out of the gun with etn <laughs> okay. I thought that was the double for him. Yeah, well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, this shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Completed out and off to Dobbs. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. 
Really well run route. Take right open. Open. On second down, a run with ETN. And he'll get this in the enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. It's been a seven play opening drive, and this is third and short. Lawrence will throw. Screen play. Here's ETN. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 33. A sizable 16 yard chunk there. The drive continues. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Lawrence to throw. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they're going to give up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. A give running right, ETN. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That second down play nets a minus four. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Third and four. Now Lawrence. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Khalil Mack able to run him down for a 15-yard loss, and it will be fourth down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. A front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. <laughs> And I tell you what, he whole first quarter. That had lots of leg behind it. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least you get something on the opening drive. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is, come away with the points now, come back and get greedy later, and try and put it in the end zone. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Giants. So they gave up the field goal, but boom, they hit it right back. Don't even worry about getting their offense on Thanks the field. Thanks for coming out. On the kickoff. So I see your three points. And raise you. And raise you six. <laughs> Double it up, coming right back at them. And if that's going to be the trade all game long, someone's going to be very happy with the end result. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. Now this is up and good to make it 7-3. So now the other return teams... Of course I'm putting, of course I'm putting Benson back there for the big game, nigga. Take it at the goal line. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Now Lawrence. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first The 
From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Lawrence changing the play. On first and 10, it's ETN. And they get him down. I'm going to come out empty base and then audible to a run. Next time you do that, I'm blitz. <laughs> Next time you do that, I'm blitzing, nigga. Really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. A quick throw cut out wide by Judy. Oh, that's just not fair. And now run the line. And he is out of bounds. This nigga only running RPOs, huh? That one goes for 30 yards. So often on these RPOs, we see the ball get from the quarterback to the receiver in what feels like a nanosecond. But on this play, he actually cleared coverage downfield a bit before the ball got to him. The net result, though, a considerable gain. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. From the shotgun, Lawrence. He'll drop this one off with ETM. Heck of a move, but only able to work his way down near the 23. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. There it is, the defense waking up after three plays that hurt them. Finally, they stand up. They have a little pride, too, you know. Three straight first down type plays. Yeah, they wanted to make one stick on their side, didn't they? From the 24 now, here's the second and eight. Looking to throw, Lawrence. This to the tight end, Kim K. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. He's smart, nigga. <laughs> a way to look away. But here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping the second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. A shotgun snap and again the ETN. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. A nice little game. Keep in mind they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. Give it's ETN off the option. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They get this out left. Touchdown, Colts. Jerry Judy. Two-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts have regained the lead. Had the option there, read it perfectly, and an easy little touchdown toss. And it has to be a sharp throw, too, because of where they are on the field. The extra traffic, things are condensed near the goal line. Good route by the receiver as well. I should pick that. Up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. Smart man want to kick it back to Benson. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right cost out of the nothing, 20. Man. <laughs>
A quick throw complete to Chark. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. Play action. It's Burrow. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great Bungie defense. kissed me off, bro. Like, he's wide the fuck off. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. And they're going to find the open man. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. On two, ready? 11 mighty! Again, it's Burrow. Open man, and again, it's Sutton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 47. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. He finds an open field here. And he's going to be out down. Inside the 20 at the 15. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Well, he worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now Burrow. And he'll find Sutton on the right side complete. Clock rolling as the Giants will hurry to the line. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Burrow changing the look. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. Now they'll change things up. 11 11 they'll try to run this one in. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No game there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuck from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Now they will throw it with Burrow. Forced out to his left. And he just chopped that one out of bounds out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field that brings up third down. Boy, that was lockdown coverage there. He's scanning for someone to come open. But that was great work to blanket everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. And it will be intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Colts are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. And the defense, Charles, they bit a little bit, but they did not break. And then on third and goal there, the huge interception. Think of the momentum they're carrying with them right now, Brandon, because in their mind, whether they want to admit it or not, they were conceding three points. Their goal was to keep them out of the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. Dal Lawrence, open man, he completes it to Judy. That's a bad man. Oh, this nigga playing so gay, cuz. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. 
a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. The rush defense down on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Lawrence. Lawrence hit and the ball is free. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. This nigga playing so ass and scary, bro. Like, the shit is irritating. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Here's Lawrence. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. This nigga has a game plan. I shouldn't have let him win the season. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21 yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't, but of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, outside made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, run, we can like, literally run and everybody in the back. It's enough for the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. 11 MP, 11 MP. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity. 
and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Oh, swear to God. Look at the way he's playing. Burrow throw. And this one incomplete. Look, 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 look at how he's dropping everybody into the back. But I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. It's not. It's like the nigga is like, oh, I'm about to just drop everybody into his secondary. I can respect it because he's not running into the secondary with a line. I don't win burst niggas running into the secondary with a line. That's going piss me off completely. A timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They have the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. And Burrow going to throw again. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter. And many coaches do. All right, stop playing it. Lakey. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force incompletion and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. <sighs> Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll send a big tight end in motion right. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And it's going to be batted down. And will go the other way with the football. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. Right, let's go. ETN up the middle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And they'll go again with ETN. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with the game. Playing like a hump. Swear to God. I have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball controlled football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Third and three. And they'll send the slot in motion left. They'll run with ETN. Well, they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Well, how about this? They'll change it at the line. Going for it. Here's ETN. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And the Giants are going to get the football back. And you wonder, Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could because Done. in this situation, you kick the field goal in a tight game like this, that's a good play. Yeah. But maybe what he's saying to himself is... I, just, I well, can't lie. The way this nigga playing is pissing me off. Like Any possession that ends in a kick, I'm happy with. He wanted to be really aggressive. A little twist here in the third quarter. First down, here's Burrow. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 
Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. <laughs> the way the nigga play it is so gay, dog. Like, I respect it, dog. I respect it. Like, this is, I, I would throw guys. like five picks rush this shit on some mad shit. 11 MP, 11 MP. Burrow looking to pass. A short throw caught by Andrews, and he goes out right around the 49. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to go. one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. There you go. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And now they're in the hurry up. 11, 11, 11. First and 10. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and 10. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. There's Chris Olave. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And Burrow going to change the play. They'll look to throw again. That's Olave bringing in another one. And down inside the 15, shot of the 10. And they're going to speed things up here. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. They run the option here on first and ten. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. He put. Joe Burrow taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Giants have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. So they're down in the red zone. They opt to utilize his legs instead of the arm. It works out pretty well. I like what they were thinking there because in most situations now defense is accounting for now nah, we playing the runners on the field and of course the pass plays the like the nigga position. only giving me the flags and runs like it's coordinator felt it down the I don't play like the red zone is this something teams should maybe depending on the quarterback do more often definitely if you've got a quarterback who can actually move it with his legs that's an extra option and an extra weapon for you I think they should utilize it more often and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will Should've start took field goal, at 25. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this goal around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. No. 
It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. And they'll send Judy in motion left. On second down, Lawrence. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Last play, they got stopped at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. It's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. And that'll do it for the third quarter. If you think he's about to run this wing slot. The culmination of the season and the crowning of a champion after the fourth quarter, which is coming up next. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, ETN. on the other side of midfield at the 45. 60 yeah. yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Yeah. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. ETN once more. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. Now, what a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Look at Carlin. Every one and put, Amy. The 37 on first and 10. Here's a good DTN. Snag about five yards down in the 32. And when you get good yards like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Hey, hey, now second and five. Now Lawrence to throw. And this is caught at the end. How is it? Look at you, 99 speed! Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Here's Lawrence to throw. Touchdown! <laughs> Travis Etienne. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave Cuz is 99 so speed, they bro. Getting short. They had to put How are you not here. keeping up? And they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Crew able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 17-14. Cuz is 99 speed. How are you not able to keep up? I don't get it. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And this could become a career-defining drive for some. Down three, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. 
This is where the legends are made in the National Football League as they begin this drive first and ten. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Here's Burrow. He completes this to Sutton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Burrow. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Second and 10 from the 33 yard line. 11, 11. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Finally, hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. What a Super Bowl it's been to this point. Now a critical third down here. Now it's Burrow. He's got his man, it's Andrews. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Elliott is good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. So a big kick to get this back to even. I know that was fourth down. I thought that was, I got sacked on another field goal the other way. Second down. Exactly I'm like I got sacked on first down. Yet, so now and that was the first down I got sacked on, right? Think to yourself, you can't play and then the play after that, that's when I picked up the high back, so fourth from mine. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two. Play the best defense you can and not make it easy for him to move the ball downfield. Setting up to be a finish for the ages here. All tied in the final minutes of the Super Bowl as the kick is away. This is first and ten. Back to throw, Lawrence. He'll get that underneath TTN. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 29 yard line. Lawrence. ETM bringing in another one. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before that will be an important third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest.
RPO. A big play looming on third down. Throwing now, Lawrence. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation, and now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made, in my estimation. one an absolute must it's fourth and four they'll try and run for it and he will have a first down here at about the 40. one crisis averted but they still need to move hastily Here's Lawrence. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that running, how many places to throw the football, if any? And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and ten now. will throw. Flushed out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Tough spot here. This is third and ten. Out of the gun. It's Lawrence. Flush to his right. And I think the ball's out. And that was ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be going dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Look at playing so ass. Escaping the pressure right. Throw right 
Sends complete to Andrews, his tight end. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Here's first down. Second down, eight yards to go. Here's Burrow. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now Burrow. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going. Here we go, first and goal. Eleven MC, eleven MC. To throw Burrow. And that will be incomplete to the clock down now to 13 seconds. Ah, uh, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision Here and just fires it over the end line. 11, Another shot from the nine 11, on 11. second and goal. Burrow. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field and brings up third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays go. and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Throwing now is Joe Burrow. And that one too wide and incomplete. Fourth down now. Defensively, Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. And this one is right through. That might just have been the most pressure-filled kick in Super Bowl history, but he stepped up, knocked it through, just like it was a Tuesday practice in July. <laughs> and if it's not the most pressure-filled, it's certainly right among them. A title on the line, and he comes through. Nails. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock, and they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. Here's first and ten. Hey, kill, 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 kill! Hey, kill, kill! Kill, kill! Take right open, open. A final shot now for Lawrence. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. And the New York football giants are the toast of the National Football League. They are the Super Bowl champs. When this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to something.
say you're a Super Bowl champion, it's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that share <sighs> bumps along the way. He plays so hard. Face some adversity in the, in the journey. And he had a game plan. They get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all off season, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.